Hello everyone. Um, I've been asked to do uh, an iPad or portal Doppler. And so today I've decided to do um, a basic protocol when um, doing an iPad or portal Doppler. Um, quickly, you wanna make sure you're uh, visualizing your portal vein. You wanna make sure you're looking at your hepatic veins and you wanna make sure you're looking at your hepatic artery. Um, depending on where you work, you might have to do a complete um, liver imaging and splenic imaging to um, measure the size to rule out splenomegaly, hepatomegaly, so on and so forth, okay? So today I have a very young model with me. We're gonna get right to work. Um, when scanning the liver, I love to, um, especially when doing the portal vein, I like to kind of use an intercostal approach as opposed to going using this anterior approach. Reason is this, when you use an anterior approach, um, deep breath in and hold it for me, please. Um, you can see the portal vein right in that view. And when I put color on it, you can see that it's kind of giving you a negative Doppler shift. Um, as in, breathe normal for me, as in the portal vein is uh, draining the liver. When we all know that the portal vein feeds the liver and the hepatic vein drains the liver. So the approach I'm going to use in this case, I'm going to go in between the ribs here. And when I go in between the ribs, you can see right on that screen, you see now that that uh, portal vein that looks like it was draining the liver uh, with a negative Doppler shift is actually a positive Doppler shift with the blood flow going into the liver. So you can see that on the side of your screen, the red and the blue, and you can see a positive Doppler shift. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unfreeze this. I'm gonna get a quick pulse wave Doppler of the portal vein. Um, I like to always use my angle correct when scanning. Um, I like to, um, you know, have my, um, um, you don't have to use a tracing, but I like to have an angle on so that I can try to get uh, the highest possible velocity that I can get in that, uh, in that portal vein. Now that is your main portal vein. Now, after you've done your main portal vein, you can also do the same and also look at your right portal vein from that view. You can see in this view, the main portal vein and the right portal vein. The main portal vein and the right portal vein. The right portal vein, um, even though the, the, all these veins um, feed the liver, but because of the angle, the, the, the angle of um, where I'm hitting the beam or hitting that vessel, I'm getting a negative Doppler shift in this image. So again, negative Doppler shift because that vessel dives down. Um, so it's not necessarily diving, going towards the transducer. But again, your right portal vein would be a negative Doppler shift. Of course, again, you're going to Doppler the right portal vein. Another thing that I do is, again, you want to take a look at the left portal vein. You can see the left portal vein right in this image. I mean, sometimes you might have to tell your patient, stop breathing, hold your breath to get a view of the left portal vein. And you can see that in that image. Again, what I'm going to do is Doppler it. Um, put an angle on that left quarter vein and get a good image of it as well. I'm going to a freeze. I'm going to take color off. The next thing I'm going to do is take a look at the hepatic vein. You can see here, uh, deep breath in and hold it. Again, you can see the approach for the uh, hepatic veins. You can see on that image, I have my right hepatic vein. I have the middle one right there. You can see the middle hepatic vein and you can see your left hepatic vein all from that view. When I put color on it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put color on that image. I'm gonna make my box big a little bit if I can. All right, um, and all from this view, breathe normal. Are you breathing? Sorry, go ahead and take in that deep breath again for me. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you to breathe. Okay, I'm just gonna breathe normal. Um, you can see the middle hepatic vein. Another thing you want to do is put your angle right on it. Some people don't like to use the 60 degree angle, but I like to use the 60 degree angle when looking at my vessels. Reason I like to do that is because again, it, I love being parallel to the vessel at all times. You don't have to do that, but I love, I, I, that's something I like to do. Again, you want to follow your department's protocol while you're doing this imaging. Um, deep breath again and hold it for me. trying to get that right one in. The right one, you can see based on the way it's taken off and how I'm hitting the, the, the vessel, it's giving me a positive Doppler shift. And again, breathe normal, please, if you're holding your breath. You can see um, the left um, hepatic vein, your mid-hepatic vein, 
and your right hepatic vein. Again, Doppler it, Doppler it, Doppler all three vessels, okay? Times again, I would also suggest you go ahead and Doppler your IVC. That is your IVC right there. I'm going to take color off for a second so you can appreciate the IVC. That's my IVC. That's the right lobe of the liver, okay? Another uh, vessel that you want to take a look at when doing this, again, I love to use uh, go in between the ribs to get my images. Reason I like to do that is, again, you can be very nice and parallel to the vessel when getting your um, uh, your, your vessel. And in this case, I'm working on the hepatic artery. Um, just go ahead and hold your breath right there for me. Sometimes just them holding their breath is good enough. And um, breathe normal. You can see portal vein and you can see the hepatic artery coming right in in that image. Okay. Um, and then there's something called your portal triad. Um, for those of you who do um, abdominal imaging, um, your portal triad is your portal vein, your hepatic artery, and your common bowel duct. And you can see that coming all in in this vessel. You can breathe normally in case if you're holding your breath. You can see that hepatic artery flashing in and out, portal vein, hepatic artery. And your common bowel duct is right above right there. You can see it on her. It's actually right above there. So again, you want to make sure that when um, imaging your, uh, doing your liver Doppler, 